Welcome everyone, Dr. Mandel here. This video is quite exciting for me to do because it's about me. Not me here, but me way down on the floor, my second toe, my second toe. My second toe is longer than my first toe. When people look at my toes as I was growing up, they'd always laugh at my toes. But I know from the research, many people have this worldwide. And people think it's your toe that's bigger, but that's not the case. But it definitely appears longer. This condition is called Morton's toe. Podiatrists, foot surgeons, doctors know all about this condition because this can cause the foot to pronate, to go inwards. And when your foot pronates, it drops the arch. It can cause the fascia underneath the stretch it can cause pain, corns, calluses. So it really is a condition that can lead to other complications, although it's not often that it happens. So look at my thumbs here. Let's pretend this is my big toe. Here is my second toe. Generally, we'll notice that the first toe is longer than your second toe. And usually there's no giggles about that. But when this second toe here becomes longer, is it actually longer? No. If you look here, it's not that the second toe is anatomically longer, it's the metatarsal of that second toe that's actually higher up as compared to the first metatarsal. Now what caught my interest is that when I was doing the research, I came across an interesting article talking about China and India over 5,000 years ago that they practiced healing the body through the feet. So while looking at this chart, you can see all the different organs from the spine to the head, to the face, to the kidneys, to the intestine, to the heart. Those points on the feet are all tied in to those organs. So when we stimulate those areas, we're stimulating those foot meridians that's actually accelerating the healing process within the body. So physically, we can see from thousands of years how people have worked on the feet and we can see that there is a physical correlation between the feet and the body. Those ancient foot reflexologists discovered something else that I thought you would love to hear. First, let me mention about if your big toe is longer than your others, they say that you are smart and creative. You've always had a clever solution to your problems. You see things in a different perspective, but you also may have troubles focusing and don't see projects through. So here's the other side. If your big toe is smaller, it means that you can do many things at the same time. People with long second toes are qualitative leaders. They're dynamic and creative, although they can be bossy. They also have a tendency to have an upper hand in their relationship in their marriage. Dominance comes naturally to them. Well, that's all I'm going to say about that. I don't want to see anyone get in trouble. I hope you enjoyed this video. I ask you to share this with your friends and family. Leave your comments below and most important, make it a great day. I'm Dr. Alan Mandel.